Thanks for inviting us here. You listen to the description of London Stock Exchange. It is obvious in today's high-performance IT environment, it requires intimate integration of compute and networking. So with its networking core competency, a fabric computing-based architecture design, an innovative in doing provisioning and the ease of operation management software, Cisco entered the x86 server business less than five years ago. And yet, the reception by the customer and the industry was incredibly successful. We've been gaining market share every quarter since introduction. And today, we are the number two x86 Blade Server Worldwide Market Share Leader and heading for number one. Diane talked about the 20 Xeon E7 V2 performance records. Cisco UCS actually possesses seven of them. Also, you listen to the wonderful description from the CEO of Velocity Data, and I couldn't help thinking about six months ago, actually the CEO of one of our competitors referred to the rapid growth of UCS, Cisco UCS, as that of Velociraptor. <laughs> so with that, then I'm so glad you can join me here today. And Cisco is very proud in partnering with Intel and SAP to support your initiative at eBay. And you manage what is clearly one of the largest internet platforms in the world. So can you give us a sense of what's the scale of the eBay business? Thanks, David. Yeah, the eBay business, it's an incredible story, as most of you guys are probably users of one of our products. So let me cover it briefly. You guys are familiar with the eBay marketplaces, uh, typically where you go on, buy products through auctioning or buy buy it now and buy a new products. We also have what we call eBay Enterprise, uh, which is a, a division of eBay that helps uh, brick and mortar type companies enter into the e-commerce businesses where we can help them with online e-commerce and pick, pack, and ship. And of course, uh, the third major business that we have is their favorite way to pay in a secure way to execute a transaction via PayPal. And so those three businesses make up roughly $212 billion worth of commerce a year on behalf of eBay Inc., uh, which is tremendous amount of data following, uh, flowing through uh, the actual franchise and through our platforms. Uh, that is roughly 143 million active customers buying and selling through these uh, platforms in virtually every country around the world. So what's exciting about that is that generates roughly 50 petabytes worth of information that eBay can leverage for analytics purposes to help these buyers and sellers be become uh, more effective uh, storefronts online. So what are the opportunities for eBay to take advantage of the real-time analytics to increase the performance of eBay marketplace? Yeah, the, the opportunities are endless and we're on the forefront of predictive analytics, uh, whether it's to help secure our platforms more because security is on the forefront of eBay and PayPal. Uh, but I'm really excited about the latest innovations that we've been working on, uh, which essentially is we're looking for signals within the data to help eBay run its businesses better. When I mean signals, it's we employ roughly 300 data scientists across the eBay franchise. They're looking through anomalies within the data to help uh, whether it's spikes in gold or issues with revenue because of changes in platforms that we don't control. It could be an IO, you know, it could be a operating system upgrade on a mobile device or, or an operating system change in a PC or a Mac that affects commerce. And so Rather than being reactive, we're looking to try to find that as real time as possible so we can make modifications within our platform to help keep the commerce engine running. And so we've ventured down a path to find signal detection in an automated way. 
These 300 scientists, they probably you know, do a couple of hundred thousand in a month. Now we're looking to ultimately get to how can we do a million signals in a month and give those scientists better data so that they can drill in and better run our platforms. So ultimately driving better revenue, more sales for our you know, buyers and sellers on the platform. This is very exciting. So Dan, I know you are currently evaluating the next generation technology from Intel and Cisco. So what early results are you seeing in your SAP HANA environment? Yeah, we're very fortunate to have great partners in Cisco and Intel and SAP and NetApp uh, that enables us to stay bleeding edge on some of those use cases that I just described. And, and through that partnership, uh, you guys were able to provide me with four uh, C460 M4s in which we're running HANA version 70 in that platform. And when we compared that uh, last week, to the earlier signal detection platform that we're doing. We're, we're seeing anywhere from 50 to 100% changes, uh, gain improvements uh, in that signal detection platform. So you know, that's exciting for eBay because we can run more transactions through that engine, ultimately driving and helping our, our, our sellers. Well, I'm very glad to hear. And you are definitely heading down an innovative path. So when your team set up to architect the infrastructure for this platform, what attributes were most important to you? Absolutely. So uh, a couple of years back, uh, we were taking a look at the platforms that run the back office. It happened to be mostly our SAP uh, finance platforms, HR platforms, procurement platforms. And it, it, they were due for an upgrade. And they were running some monolithic risk-based platforms. Uh, and we said, OK, times have changed. Virtualization was out there. And, and we eva evaluated Cisco UCS and ultimately decided we were going to migrate to Cisco UCS. And I could say that uh, the goal was because we wanted to go from months of rolling out traditional monolithic to days slash hours. And I can say as of two months ago, we're 100% virtual on those platforms. And we shut down our last monolithic risk-based platform uh, running SAP. So uh, we're literally there. Uh, and true story, I was in a meeting last week and with my, uh, with my architects, and we were talking about spinning up an instance of SAP uh, you know, because we, had, you know, we wanted to do some, some testing uh, of a new language pack uh, for SAP. And I looked at them. I said, OK, I know we're 100% virtual. How fast can you get that environment up for me? And they're like, today. You know, so the days of months are gone. So we're excited to see that because of partnership with you guys at Intel and SAP. So thank you for sharing your story with us. Mm -hmm. This is a fantastic real world look at the new breed of analytics that Diane and Intel is talking about here. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.